In responding to the scenes that were saw in Washington yesterday, the Green Party MP, their only elected member of the House of Commons, Caroline Lucas, said that democracy can never ever be taken for granted and that it's so important that we stand up for the values we believe in. I completely agree with Caroline. That's why I campaigned heart and soul from June 24th, 2016 to ensure that people like her, who less than a month after the referendum result, after our biggest vote, let's not forget, for anyone or anything, was back in calls for another vote because she didn't like the outcome of the first one. Haven't called for an EU referendum herself, folks. Here's an archived page on our website from 2011 in which she says that she's pro-democracy and backs a referendum on the UK's membership of the European Union. Of course, when she actually got one, when the plebs didn't listen to their political and cultural elites, when the plebs clearly didn't know what they were voting for, when the plebs were duped by dodgy data, Cambridge Analytica conspiracy theories that have since been dismissed by the UK's Information Commissioner's Office, when it was a fake because of now dismissed conspiracy theories about Dominic Cummins and Darren Grimes plotting against the ballot box when it was dismissed that there was Russian involvement in the EU referendum and that actually people just wanted to leave the protectionist racket and bullying cartel that is the EU well, they couldn't accept that she loves democracy though, doesn't she? Caroline Lucas suddenly forgot, she just forgot, about her passion for democracy. After calling for a second referendum, she then voted against the triggering of Article 50. You know, of course, during that referendum, they all said that they would respect the result of the referendum. They didn't respect us, they treat us with complete and utter contempt. The mechanism for starting the process was Article 50. She voted against it. She then admitted that were leave to win in a second referendum, if we plebs dared for a second time to vote to leave, she would still vote against it. But if there were to be a referendum, leave were to win it again, you know, either more decisively or not, in the Commons, would you then back a Brexit deal to leave? Um... No, I probably wouldn't. Um... So you wouldn't accept the result, <laughs> would you? What an extraordinary hypocrite. How dare she lecture Trump or his voters about respect and democracy when she, far from bowing to campaign to rejoin the EU in the future, did all she could to ensure that the result of the first vote, our leave vote, the biggest for anyone or anything in the United Kingdom's history, was implemented. She did all she could to undermine democratic values that she now berates Donald J. Trump over. Can you imagine if the roles had been reversed and leave had lost and leave voters refused to back the outcome? Our Remain back in parliamentarians and media class would have said that the country was in the throes of fascism, that democracy was in peril and that the thick, ignorant and racist losers should accept that they lost. Having supported an in-and-out referendum for years and years, right up until the electorate decided to vote against what some grass-eating, windmill-loving hippie had demanded of them, how dare you lecture anyone about the values of democracy? The sneering levels of contemptible arrogance are truly palpable with this one. I'm Darren Grimes for Reasoned UK. Reasoned relies upon grassroots donations from people like yourself that want us to continue producing our high-quality, free-thinking content. So please do consider clicking the link and donating, no matter how big, no matter how small, because it really does ensure that we can keep on keeping on.